Arts Corps is an arts education organization that was founded to address the opportunity gap in access to arts education in the Seattle King County area. I've had the opportunity to see Arts Corps grow and evolve as an organization. And I think what's happened over the last you know, decade or so is the organization has really established itself as the preeminent arts education organization in the region. Their programs have expanded tremendously and they're also now putting much of what they've learned and perfected during their out-of-school time programs and really trying to leverage that and bring that into the classroom. This year, Arts Corps was honored to receive the National Arts and Humanities Youth Program Award from the White House. It was an incredible honor and one that you know, recognizes over a decade of high quality work that Arts Corps done in the outer school time arena. Seattle Public Schools has just completed a 18 month planning process and as part of that planning process we really were looking at which students have arts education access and which don't. And we hoped that we were going to be an outlier within the national context. And what we found is that we're not. Since the late 1980s nationally, arts access has dropped for students across the board. But in particular for students of color, access has plummeted. And we have the same findings here in Seattle Public Schools. This year we launched a new program called the Creative Schools Initiative that's focused on bringing many of the practices that we've really honed in on in our after school programs into the school day. Seattle Public Schools has been involved in a planning process to begin to address the ongoing and pervasive arts education gap that we have in our city. And we asked Arts Corps to partner with us in doing this really important work. Out of our planning process, one of our initiatives is to include integrated arts as a learning strategy across the district. At middle school in particular, there's a significant access gap to integrated arts. So Arts Corps pilot program directly addresses the needs of our community and our students. We're working with two middle schools currently, Orca K-8 and Madrona K-8. At each school, we're placing a teaching artist and an AmeriCorps member. And one of the things we're really looking at is what happens in a school when not only do you change the learning environment in a particular classroom, but you start to shift the whole school culture to an arts-rich environment. These two schools were the best choices initially because they're smaller. And so we have more of an opportunity to see where the project is having an impact within the whole school, not just within one or two or three classrooms. Research shows that when students have integrated uh, subjects, integrated content, that they can really build meaning from that and then apply it in, in new and different situations, which is really what we want our students to learn and be able to do. The teaching artist is almost like the heart of the program, working very closely with the teachers. And AmeriCorps is almost like the soul of the program in that they really get to work on developing uh, the arts-rich aspect of the school. I love incorporating a lot of things with kids, you know, uh, and hopefully we can have fun. Middle school is a time for extreme growth for young people, so it, it's a critical point for learning, and it's a critical point for expanding um, interest. The Creative Schools Initiative gives students who traditionally are struggling in school a different way to express themselves. Students who may struggle with writing can see the same principle explored through movie making or through drama. We'll learn something with Dante, and then we'll either draw it or we'll paint it or we'll learn some sort of thing with Nate and it sort of it just sort of solidifies that in a in a different way if there's something going on that I'm kind of unsure about if I can put it in the most creative way that I can think of that there's probably going to be something right and then I'll learn later about how to refine it and make it sharper I like being in the class with Nate and Sammy because um, they incorporate two different types of art. It sort of complements each other. I always wanted to teach kids in a different way from uh, just breakdancing. Uh, now into science and math, history, and language arts. Like I have a better mindset on how to teach. The one thing that Arts Corps encourages you to do is to kind of think about the non-traditional way of doing things. There is no right or wrong way, it's, it's the creative way. I feel like I'm giving uh, young students opportunities to think differently, to feel good about who they are, and to feel empowered. And the most impact that I see is directly with the students, especially a student that initially wasn't engaged in, seeing them actually take hold of something and, and run with it. 
Our students are becoming leaders. They are taking charge of their curriculum. Everyone's greeting, laughing, struggling together, and it's a community feel. The Creative Schools Initiative is imagining possibilities. You are imagining the possibility to teach artistically core curriculums. And Arts Core is a group that, that can think that way. We're really excited over the next couple years to see the success that we have at the two K-8 schools in which they're involved. For all young people, we really want to create and instill in them the sense of potential and um, aspiration. There's a lot of urgency behind this work. It's time to run. It is time to run. It's time to, to get on board and, and the Arts Corps train and, and move forward. Arts Corps really says it best in their motto. Uh, their motto is make art anyway. Make art anyway.